Alright folks, so in this video what I wanted to cover is auto merging retriever. So in the last video I talked about sentence window retriever which is part of the Llama index implementation and in this one what I wanted to cover is auto merging retriever. Again like what I talked about in the last video that if your rack performance in terms of context relevancy if it is low then you should either try out this sentence window retriever or this auto merging retriever where the better context will be provided to the LLM for during the generation phase, right? So let's talk about uh, this one and in the end we will also go through how the coding implementation is done, right? So if you uh, remember like this is also I have talked about in my last video like how the vanilla rag implementation works. So we kind of uh, get the document then we create chunks and then we create the embeddings and once the user comes with a question we try to retrieve the chunks uh, using the semantic search and that chunks will be passed as context to the LM to generate the final response right now the problem of this approach is uh, there might be a scenario where you will retrieve discontinuous chunks right so if i just give you an example like if once the user question comes so it might be like uh, these are the chunks which got semantically similar to the questions right not continuous and they are kind of fragmented chunks right so if you are using these chunks to create the context that context may not be a coherent context uh, based on the retrieved chunks right so because there is a discontinuity between the chunks which got retrieved during the retrieval phase right and we try to solve this problem using uh, this concept of auto merging retriever so let's go through what this auto merging retriever is uh, which can help us to create more coherent context right so here we have the source documents so what we really do is we get the source documents and then we can create a label one chunks so you can see like uh, several chunks got created here which are like size of 2048 number of tokens are present in each of these chunks then also what we can do is we can create the level 2 chunk where we have divided this 2042 uh, parent document to several smaller chunks each of them has like 512 tokens and we kind of maintain the relationship as a parent child relationship right so you can see like these chunks which are here at the level 2 that all these chunks will be present and that will be link to this parent right now when a user comes with a certain question it might be the case that these two chunks got retrieved right the chunk one and chunk two right so which is uh, fine which is like a coherent chunk like uh, two back-to-back uh, -back chunks got retrieved and that can be passed as uh, context to the LLM so when we have like chunk 1 chunk 2 and also the chunk 4 got retrieved right and also we have mentioned that if uh, this number of child chunks are gone beyond a threshold so instead of returning this chunk 1 chunk 2 and chunk 4 what we can do is we can merge these chunks and we return only the parent chunk here right so we will not return this one two four chunks which is a discontinuous or fragmented chunks instead of that we will return this parent chunk which will give a more coherent context to the llm for the generation phase so this is actually the basic concept between uh, the auto merging retriever where if the chunks are going beyond a certain threshold so here we have uh, kept the threshold as two like if uh, more than two chunks are retrieved from the child node so what we can do is instead of returning the child nodes we will return the parent node as a context to the llm right so i hope you uh, got an initial understanding of how this is working now let's talk about what are the advantages or disadvantages of using this auto merging retrieval right so first of all the advantage is that more com comprehensive and contextually relevant context will be retrieved during the retrieval phase and if uh, like those context are or those chunks are not coherent in nature then the parent chunk will be retrieved and that will give more uh, contextual response from the llm side 
right so then we have another advantage where we, we will reduce the fragmentation which i have already talked about so it can tackle the discontinuous or fragmented chunks because third advantage which we have here is dynamic content integration so this merging which we are talking about that will kind of ensure that smaller chunks are merged to create more informative context for the llm to generate the final response right so these are basically the three advantages which you can think of like one of this there are few complexities or the disadvantages this approach has so uh, this defining this hierarchy and like deciding how many chunks will be there at the parent level then what would be the next level and there can be multiple levels so the example which i have shown that has two level but you can incorporate in such a way that there are multiple levels are present so in the code also we will see that there we will have three levels and we this kind of brings a new parameter into the game that you need to decide what are the chunk size that you need to maintain at the parent and then the subsequent childs right so additional steps are required to create the complex uh, create the hierarchy and also the merging steps is also involved in this process so that kind of uh, gives rise to the additional complexity while using this technique right so other thing is uh, there is a risk of over generalization right so uh, merging can sometimes lead to bad or off topic context right so you can see that uh, here like if three chunks are there then uh, instead of giving specific informations which are there on those child chunks it will kind of merge and then it will retrieve the parent chunk right so which can be uh, over generalization and that can also be sometimes go off the topic right which the actual question was asking for right so these are the a few of the disadvantages you should also be mindful whenever you are using this approach right now let's go and see how the coding implementation is done in terms of llama index first of all few of the required installations which we also talked about in the sentence window retriever uh, then we will use this simple web page reader to load the content of a web page and we will create the documents out of it after that we will initialize the llm and the embedding model which are so till this step all the steps are similar to the sentence window retriever then what we will do is at a first uh, step what we will do is we will create the hierarchical node parser right uh, the chunk sizes i have mentioned as like 512 then 256 then 128 right so if i try to show you in terms of visual manner so this if you imagine like this is your parent or the uh, the whole document that we have then what we will do is we will create the first level of uh, chunks which will be each of them would be a size of 512 so like there are a lot of uh, chunks which will be created using this 512 right now this 512 chunks will be then subdivided by uh, two chunks which are of size of like 256 right so this will also be created with 256 so you can see like 256 plus 256 is 512 so the parent child relationship is maintained then what we will do is each of these chunks will again have two child which each of them would be of size 128 right so each of them will have uh, this child nodes each of them are of size of 128 right so if uh, so in the in that way the hierarchical node parser will be created and this parent child relationship will also be maintained uh, in terms of the whenever we will create the vector index right now let's go through the further steps that are required so once that is done we will uh, create we will get the nodes and also the leaf nodes so leaf nodes are nothing but the nodes which does not have any child right so this 128 is will the size of the leaf node will be like 128 each of them will have 128 tokens and if you check the length of number of leaf nodes uh, here the number is 229 right so i have kept this size in such a way that we will see the merging process happen otherwise you can decide uh, based on your use case what would be the ideal size of the pa this parent child uh, 
chunks chunk nodes right then what we will do is we will uh, look into one of the leaf nodes and also the parent of that particular leaf node so here we have 229 leaf nodes so we are looking at the 50th leaf node and we can see like this is a very small chunk where the size is like 128 tokens and based on this we can also see the parent node for this particular 50th node right so you can see like the parent node has a bigger chunk size if you are comparing with the uh, the leaf node right so this is the relationship that will be maintained using uh, this leaf node and the, all the parent nodes so after that we need to follow three steps so those three steps are like first we will create the service context then we will create the storage context and in the end we will create the vector store index right so first of all we will create the service index where we will pass the llm the embedding model and the node parser which we created here using this hierarchical node parser right so that we will pass as a parameter to this service context to create this auto merging uh, context right so once that is done the next two steps are we will create a storage context so this uh, parent nodes are stored in a doc store so you need to remember here that the parent nodes are stored in the doc store this doc store is nothing but the storage context and index it is created using only the leaf nodes right so we will embed the leaf nodes and those leaf nodes will be stored in the uh, index what that we will create right so uh, at first we will create the storage context uh, using all the nodes right so you can see we are using the nodes here so the all the nodes will be stored in the storage context and using the leaf nodes we will create the vector index right so we will uh, use the leaf nodes to create the index and here we will like create the embeddings for each of the leaf nodes and that we will store in the index so along with that we are also passing the information of the storage context and also the auto merging context right so in that way we are passing the information uh, between the child and the parent so because the, all the nodes are stored in the storage context and the leaf nodes are, will be stored in the uh, this vector store index and all the information we are providing here while creating the vector store index then the regular stuff like we will uh, add a re-ranker here and also we will mention the similarity top k as 12 because uh, so in this case like where we are having a parent child relationship you always need to have a higher score value for this similarity top k right so which will also kind of ensure that uh, proper merging or proper context is being returned while doing while using this auto merging retriever right so then what we will do is we will uh, create a base retriever so using that base retriever we will create the retriever using this auto merging retriever and uh, then what we will do is we will create the re-ranker and that we will uh, pass as a parameter to this auto merging engine right so while creating this retriever query engine we will uh, pass the re-ranker the llm and also the retriever that we created here right so once that is done then uh, similarly we will create a function which will uh, get the question and the auto merging engine and from the engine using the query it will retrieve the response and also the context right so you can see uh, once we initialize the query then we are passing this auto merging engine and the query to this function and we are getting back the response and context right so here you can see it is like uh, giving you a message like merging one nodes into the parent node right so here we can see like um, uh, instead of returning the child nodes to get the better context which is more coherent in nature we are merging the merging the child nodes to the parent node and the parent node is returned as a context using this concept of auto merging retriever right so then we can like go through what is the response and also the context for generating this response right so this is all i wanted to cover in this video so i hope you will like this two videos which i recently covered one of them is sentence window uh, retriever and also this auto merging retriever which is part of the llama index and uh, i'm sh i hope like langchain will come up with implementation of this 
to concepts in future using their uh, ecosystem uh, but i hope you got the concept and how this is being done in using the llama index right so thank you see you in the next video